Chancellor relaxed and at ease are what these photos released by the Treasury tonight were meant to convey. But massive debts built up during the pandemic and rising inflation aren't exactly ideal conditions in which to deliver a budget. Still, he has promised to end the pay freeze that's meant public sector workers, except those in the NHS, have had no pay rise at all this year. Craig Robson, a prison officer in Durham, is among those finding it hard to make ends meet. The cost of living, food has gone up, petrol has gone up by 30 pence a litre. Um, next year, national insurance contributions are going up in April with no increase on the wages. So all I've asked the peer review body is, can they please tell us how I'm going to do that? There are 5.68 million public sector workers. Rising inflation means they've got poorer over the last decade. An NHS hospital consultant's pay has effectively fallen by nearly 9%. For nurses, the figure is around 5%. Senior civil servants' real wages are down by nearly 11%. And compared with 2007, a teacher now earns 8% less. Given inflation is now 3%, will the pay rise next year be more than that? This minister wouldn't be drawn. What I can't do at the moment is speculate six months ahead, but uh, what, I'm, what we're saying is that the Chancellor, by ending the pay freeze, gives the signal to the pay review um, uh, bodies that they, they can... But you can't um, guarantee that they will be better off next year. Well, it's not for me as a junior minister to guarantee anything, but what, what I'm saying is that the Chancellor is signalling the, the, the fact that he wants to give uh, the, uh, the public sector, the five million people in the public sector, a pay rise. But in all the leaks over the budget, Labour says the cost of living crisis has been ignored. In recent days, we have read thousands of words about what the Chancellor plans to do. But the silence is deafening on the soaring bills and rising prices facing families and, and businesses. At this school in Leicester, the head teacher says staff will welcome an end to the pay freeze, whatever they get. I think at the moment anything would be better than nothing. I think when faced with 0%, which is what teachers were told this year, then obviously um, that's not any incentive and certainly I think will have impacted on recruitment and retention of teachers. How much hope the Chancellor can really offer will depend on whether he sees calmer waters ahead for the economy or not. Libby Vina, News at 10, Westminster.